Certified San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. Good time to get a deal on a coat, maybe a blanket. I could use one. Chilly out there. <laughs> you know? time for it. It's going to be freezing, not just tonight, but a couple nights of it. In fact, yeah. some cold air has settled right over us, and that does mean that we will see temperatures dropping to 32 or cooler. I should say colder, right? As we go through the next several nights in some of our coldest valleys, and I'll show you where. Let's start off with our first shot from our downtown sky cam looking out toward, uh, you know, Balboa, Cabrillo Bridge. Very chilly at this evening, 58 right now at Lindbergh, and that is one of the warmer spots. You have the urban heating and nice heating around the city, but take a look at places like Kearney Mesa, where we're now at 50, 46 in El Cajon, 40 in Ramona, 48 in Vista. The higher elevations, 30 Palomar Mountain, same for Mount Laguna, and the deserts have already dropped to 49 Ocotillo Wells and 52. Borrego. All right, let me show you some of these pictures that came in. There's another great shot of the snow from Mount Laguna. Clark sent that in. Thanks so much. And then Audrey sent this in, and I s mentioned this if you were watching us before the game at about 4 or 430 this afternoon. We talked about the freeze warning, so she's covered a lot of her sensitive vegetation. You'll need that tonight, and I do it again tomorrow night as well. Several hours below at or below freezing in some of the colder valleys. So you can see it extends all the way up and down all our valleys across our deserts as well. Places like the San Pasquale Valley, close to Poway, any place that's not sheltered, it's in the valley is going to drop below freezing tonight and again tomorrow. Here's the reason. Big jet stream dipped well down to the south. The colder air is always on the north side of the jet stream and look how far down it's gone all the way to Mexico. So that cold air is still in place through Monday. So we have the freeze warning through tonight and then the cold air starts to move out a little bit, but we still have a freeze watch, which is one level below the freeze warning we have tonight. And that's for tomorrow night. So tonight again, those colder valleys 27 to 32. Tomorrow night we'll have the same thing, but it won't last for as long. Tonight, 33 Poway, 35 Escondido, 28 Ramona, 35 El Cajon, 39 in Curry Mesa, 35 in Alpine, 35 Hamul. When was the last time I said 30 something for your overnight lows? It's been a while, right? The higher elevations into the 20s. All right, highs tomorrow. We're only into the low to mid 60s at the coast. Same for the inland locations. 45 for Julian, 59 for Ramona, 63 Escondido, 64 Poway, Chula Vista, mid 60s. Seven day forecast, chilly start, and uh, you know, we continue with some clear conditions. Uh, we continue to see those mid 60s inland, and then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit warmer, but then another system passes to our north. I don't think we'll get any of the rain, but we will get the cold wind, so we'll cool off again as we go through next week. And the higher elevations again into the 40s, 60s for the deserts. Oh. Wow. Let's get that jacket going. Yeah. Let's go shopping right now. <laughs> Turn it on the heat. Friday, Cyber Monday. Got fire. Yeah. I turned the turn heat on, on a couple nights already. Oh, yeah. I have. Yeah. <laughs> Probably jacked we, way up. When you <laughs> turn it on for the first time and you haven't been on for a while, it stinks. Yeah, it does. You know? It's a little dusty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right.